Welcome back, LHS. I'm Ariston Scott. And I'm Kylan. Today is Monday, March 13th, and we have student information, sports updates, and more. This, this is, is your Blue Devil, Devil News. News. Prom ticket prices have officially been raised. They are now $65. Beta Club and NHS are going to be hosting a book donation drive after spring break. They are collecting books for a nonprofit called Bookum. Bookum's mission is to create a more literate Nashville and spark kids' passions for reading through book ownership and ready to read volunteers. Cafe Blue is officially back open for breakfast on Thursday and Friday mornings. Teachers, the order link has been sent from the cafe's email address. Remember, do not send students to cafe during class. They will need to come before class or order for delivery. Remember, teachers, do not send a student without a life-threatening health issue to the nurse without filling out a nurse request form. This is for privacy and safety concerns. Thank you. Today's ACT words are pensive and peril. Pensive is an adjective meaning to be engaged in, involving, or reflecting serious thought, and peril is a noun meaning to be in serious danger. Our annual book drive will begin later this week. Students can bring in books appropriate for ages 3 to 18 to any teacher of their choice. Teachers, if you want to be opt-out of receiving books, you will need to reply to the email you were sent about the drive. Thank you. Mrs. Alsop's Digital Art and Design 2 class is offering design services for clubs, sports, or other organizations in need. Email Ms. also with any requests for flyers, posters, or other graphics. HOSA will be hosting their annual blood drive on March 22nd from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Little Gym. If students want to donate to the drive, they must be at least 17 years old, 110 pounds, and show a valid form of ID. So come out and donate if you can. The University of Tennessee's Special Education Program is now accepting applications for new teachers to begin coursework on July 1st, 2023. Those are your announcements for today. We'll be back with the news after this break. It is currently 35 degrees outside with a low of 32 and a high of 45. Back to you guys. Hi, I'm Alyssa and this is Rapid Fire. McPeak, McPeak. What's the name of the toy cowboy in Toy Story? Woody. What do caterpillars turn into? Butterflies. How many hearts does an octopus have? Four. Wrong. It has three. What planet is closest to the sun? Mercury. And what's the story behind the tennis ball? I'll tell you when you graduate. Thanks for watching Rapid Fire. If you want to be on next week's episode, email Miss Rhodes. Bye. Thanks, guys. I'm Connor Gannon, and this is your sports update. Baseball is opening up their season with an away game at Blackman High School playing Independence High School. The game starts at 4.30 p.m. The Blue Devils starting pitcher is sophomore Kate Thorne. Come out and support your Blue Devil baseball team. Softball is also opening up their season with a home game against Laverne High School at 6 p.m. Tennis has a match against Macon County at home. It starts around 3.30 the soccer team plays away at Riverdale. Varsity starts at 7. Try to go out and support your Blue Devils. The Predators beat the Anaheim Ducks yesterday 5-4 to four in overtime. The Predators play the Red Wings tomorrow at 7 p.m. And the Memphis Grizzlies play the Dallas Mavericks tonight at 6.30. That's all for your sports update. Back to you guys. And in some real world news, the Global Workforce has set their sights on a four-day work week. Activists claim the five-day work week is emotionally draining and leaves no time for an individual to live their own lives. This supposed four-day work week would involve a pay raise to remain the same pay with one less day. 
Since the February 3rd train derailment in Ohio, there has been a derailment in Florida, West Virginia, Michigan, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Washington, and Alabama. Only three people have been reported injured from these events. However, the chemicals on these trains have leaked into the air, which can be extremely harmful towards any U.S. citizen in the area of a crash. That's all the news we have for you today, LHS. I'm Erston Scott. And I'm Kylan. This has been the news to you from, from the, the White and Blue. Blue.